Hey everyone, so today I am doing a tutorial inspired by the beautiful Lily Collins, who is officially one of my top girl crushes. She's so gorgeous. So I'm inspired by her really fresh faced look, bright eyes, smudgy eyeliner, and bright orange glossy lips. I'm so obsessed with this lip color. It's so pretty. So as always, if you want to see how I got this look and to see how you can do it for yourself, just stay tuned. Once a fall in love It's like all she's thinking of Cause she keeps running, running, running For the falling, falling, falling She just wants to after priming and neutralizing my skin, I'm going to go in with my foundation. And I'm using this one here because it's quite a full coverage and I want a really flawless look today. Now I'm using some concealer under my eyes just to conceal my dark circles and I'm also bringing that down in a triangular shape just to brighten up my face and give my complexion a glowing look. Now I'm going to set my foundation in place with a powder and I'm also going to set underneath my eyes with a light yellow powder as well just to brighten the area up even more. Lily has a really nice beautiful kind of subtle contour going on so I am just contouring with my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit really softly and blending it out super well and then after that I'm going to take a peachy blush to match the colour of hers and apply that to the apples of my cheeks back to my hairline. To make the blush look super effortless and natural I'm just taking a big brush and blending everything out together just to make it look you know more buffed out and natural as I said and now I'm gonna do my eyebrows using the dip brow pomade just filling them in quite thick today I did them a lot thicker than normal because Lily has those outrageously awesome big bushy eyebrows I know not everyone loves them but I happen to love them you don't have to copy her eyebrows I just thought I would do mine a little bit thicker today I'm using this brow gel by Ico just because it makes your eyebrows look super full and hairy because everyone likes a good hairy brow <laughs> Now I am priming my eyelids ready for the eyeshadow application and the eyeshadow is super 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 easy. I'm taking this kind of, I don't know, it's like slightly shimmery but not really shimmery colour and it's just a contour colour by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'll write it down below because I can't remember the colour off the top of my head. I'm just patting that all over and then taking a darker colour into the crease and it's quite a natural kind of warm toned peach shade. So I'm just buffing that in. And then I'm taking XO by Colourpop and applying that to the center of my lid and my inner corner. This is going to give us the super bright eye effect that Lily likes to rock. So yeah, I love this color so much. It's beautiful. And then I'm using black eyeliner on half of my top lash line, I would say, or like a third. I'm just smudging it into my lashes and then blending it out with a Q-tip. And I'm also lining the outer kind of third of my lower lash line as well, as you can see here. Now for the lashes, I feel like the eye look kind of depends on the lashes, so I'm putting on heaps of mascara. This is Better Than Sex by Too Faced, it's one of my favourites. And then I'm using these outer lashes, the outer corner lashes by EXO Beauty called The Flower Child. Just applying them to the very outside of my eye just to kind of thicken up my lashes and make them look super flirty and, you know, curly and long and beautiful.
This part is my favorite. I'm taking a dark reddish orange color. This is a lip liner, obviously, as you can see, I'm sure. Um, and I'm just lining my lips and kind of shaping my lips and defining my lips with that color. And then I'm going to take a really bright orange lipstick. You could use Morange by MAC, but I'm using this one by NYX. Um, and I'm just filling in my lips. And then I'm going to take a lip gloss after that and apply that on top just to get that super glossy finish that Lily is wearing. And that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoy it. I think this look is absolutely perfect for those of you who like to look really fresh and wide awake or people that don't really like wearing heavy eye makeup. This is absolutely perfect. And if you don't like wearing heavy eye makeup, it's the perfect opportunity to play around with super bold lips. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please give it a really big thumbs up for me and I will talk to you really soon. Bye! You can see the difference. And if you think I'm lying, take a look for yourself. <laughs> this is just one layer, one coat. And then I'm going in with the side two, which is a smaller brush. And I will be using this brush on my lower lashes as well. I have here is lovely jubblies, which is a boob cream. So you rub it on your boobs or anywhere really. It's just like a moisturizer, but it's marketed for your boobs to kind of um, firm and moisturize the skin on your titties. It's more the smell of this that